There's a small mountain in South Wales that is special to many people. One reason is that as you ascend its slopes, you travel back in time. This is the Garth Mountain overlooking Cardiff. People have lived here for at least 4,000 years. As mountains go, it's small, only just over 300 metres, a little more than a thousand feet. In fact, some prefer to call it a hill. Most walkers take the route from the pub in Guado de Garth. An alternative is to go through the forestry at the entrance to the village. The landscape soon becomes very green. Look closely and you'll see fragments of walls. They are the remains of very small homes built in the 17 and 1800s. The people who lived here dug coal from the mountainside. The garth was once dotted with tiny coal mines. Small passages, adits as they are known, led into the coal seams. It was dark, claustrophobic and hard physical work. Dangerous too. One of the larger mines was Land Colliery, where 16 men and boys died in an explosion in 1875. The community existed for many decades. There was a large pub halfway up the mountain road, the Collier's Arms, but there's no trace of it now. Eventually, the mines became uneconomic and closed. People drifted away, homes were abandoned and fell into ruin. Nature reclaimed the land. Onwards to the summit. Some paths can be challenging. There are four ancient burial mounds here, only two of which are prominent. These were created 2,000 years before the Romans came. Those buried here were obviously important people. There's also an earth mound from about 1940. It may have been for a wartime radar installation, but that isn't certain. Some ancient paths have worn deep. In one of them, I once found a fingernail-sized shard of flint embedded in the earth. It was part of an arrowhead or perhaps a cutting tool, brought here in ancient times. The Garth offers panoramic views. On a clear day, from the summit's trig point, you can see the sweep of the South Wales coastline, from the Seven Bridges to Swansea and beyond. So the Garth may not be much of a mountain, but it's a precious link with our past, a site of wild nature and a great place to stretch your legs.